Hello everyone, and today we're back into another Lumion Legacy PvP video, and today we are showcasing the brand new Lumion Sherbot. We are actually showcasing two different sets today. So the first set I'm going to showcase is the Clutch Plushy Sugar Rush set. We have a brand new move, Out of Order, which has 150 range attack, Metallica Blast, Jetstream, and Peace of Mind, and with Clutch Plushy, I should be able to outspeed everything after a clutch plus she piece of mine. So that's the strategy here. And these are the TPs. It's a 200, 200, 100 set. I have no one to help because I want to activate my clutch plus she as much as I can. And the second set is the smart, nimble specialty boots set. And this set is Shakedown, Out of Order, Metal Blast, Jet Stream, and Zip Zap instead of Peace of Mind. And the TPs are basically the same, 200 in the range attack, 200 in the speed, 48 in the energy puts us at 250, and 52 health gives us 155 total health. And I'm really excited to showcase Sherbot today. I think it's actually going to do very well. I'm going to build a team around both of them, but let's head right into the battles. All right, we're into the first battle now with Sherbot, and let's see what you have. I'm using the Clutch Plushie set, so... Yeah, hopefully we see some quad weakness Lumion today. And unfortunately, I don't see any fire types. Although I do see a brawler type. So I could definitely try to use it. There's also a... There's also a... That thing. What is that thing called? A Mocho. Which I could definitely use it against. I'll bring you as backup. Don't really have anything for that though. And I'm not looking forward to beating that Eludra. I also don't look forward to beating that Metatoad neither. There's a lot of Lumions I really do not look forward to, unfortunately. I'll bring a Kazune for the Snagu. Uh, if that thing places Poison Barbs, this is we're trouble already. Unless I lead off with you. But now you're not gonna. Are you really gonna lead off with Snagu? Let's see. No, we let off at Mocho actually. There is a couple things I can do. I'm going to go for a Flash and Flay. Yeah, Flash and Flay is the best play to do here. And he stayed in on a Mocho. Stayed in on an Ikazude when I could have just Fire Rift it. Okay, that's fair. I don't know why it did that, but okay. I don't know what he's going to go for. I might as well go in the Phantom. I can't click today. There we go, I click. If he went for a Boom Bash, I could have went into the Sherbot, but... Peace of mind, oh boy. That ain't good. That really ain't good. And this thing probably outspeeds me, too. Uh, yeah, that ain't good. Icicle traps. I gotta get rid of those that... Oh, no. Actually... Milkshake! Milkshake Mocho! It helps him in this specific case, because it's now out of light speed range. So, he gets a free peppermint breath on me, and does half my health. So, the one time a milkshake... Mocho helps him out. The one time a milkshake Mocho would ever help someone out. Which kind of sucks. Gastro comes on in. Completely walls me, by the way. So I'm going to go into Ikazune. Get rid of a part of the Icicle Traps. And I'm not sure what to go for next. But I assume he's going to go for a Return to Sender. Are you going to go for Camp? Oh no. Oh no. This isn't good. Can I tell you why it isn't good? I can't beat it with any of the Lumians I have! I can't beat it with any of the Lumians I have! Of course! I'm gonna lose to a Tamp Gaststroke. A Tamp Gaststroke is going to beat me. A Tamp Gaststroke is going to beat me. A Tamp Gaststroke. Burn the freaking heck out of it, please. Yeah, I can't get a burn. Yeah, it gets a poison off. I can't get a burn on this thing, though. I would just be too nice, game. The game would be too nice if I got the burn. Too nice? Just trying to showcase Sherbot, and he happens to have a, the one Tamp Gastro will ever battle. I can't, I can't damage it, because I didn't bring Barbadger. I should have brought Barbadger. So I need to get a burn. I don't get a burn. Okay, there's a photosynthesis. The only way I'm gonna beat this thing is if I go into Tyrex now. I can also zip that, but I have to go into Tyrex now. Oh, yeah, I gotta go into Tyrex now. And I gotta scapegoat? I don't know what to do here anymore. I'm screwed. I can't beat this thing. 
I do give it a minus one. There's another tap! Oh, boy. I can already tell I'm not going to be able to defeat this guy, aren't I? I'm not going to be able to defeat this guy, aren't I? I'm just going to go for a sharpen. Maybe I can force out the gastro, because I can't go into the Sherbot when this thing is at plus two. Even with out of order, gastro is that thick it will live. I will go for the plus one there. And then I'm going to go for a... I kind of want to go for... I feel like his move is Stratagem. I wanna, I'm going for Steel Crusher. He's probably just going to go for the Poison. Did no damage. Sat plan. He missed. I don't care. You were a full stall gastro. Good to know. Can't beat this. Can't break through this. Can't sat plant the scapegoat. So, you are forced to swap. You stay in, you lose your gastro. So yeah. You good to know. So his gastro can't beat my Tyrex. Good to know. He has to swap out. Thumping's getting damaged. And it's going to be his own Tyrex that's going to take damage, too. So that's really good. Also, let's... Also, that wasn't terrifying. So, let's just get rid of this Tyrex. Gotta just get rid of it. Nothing else I can really do here. Just get rid of the Tyrex. Yep, this should one-shot. So if I save Tyrex just for that Gastro, we should be fine. He's going to go into Sumo Beetle. And I want to sack something. I really do want to sack something so I can just go into my Sherbot. Although I'm just not sure what to do yet. Sumo Beetle. I'm going to have to sack something if I want to make this work. I'm going to have to sack something in order to make this work. I could go in the Phantom. I have an idea, actually. I think I have a fun idea. We're going to go in the Phantom. Who gets the Icicle Traps. You go for the bulk up. Which gas stroke's gonna come on in, right? If he stays in, I can just Oh no, he has double strike. I can't even do that because he has double strike. So I can't even do it against the sumo because he has double strike. Watch, it's double strike. Yeah, it's double strike! Gosh dang it! It's double strike! Oh, I can't even do the clutch flushy strat! So stupid, I can't even do it! I can't even do the clutch flushy strat. That is so dumb, I can't even do it. Ah, oh, it's painful. Just painful, that's all that is, it's just painful. There's no way a double strike from a Super Beetle is enough to KO a freaking Stratosaur. Like, come on now. Come on, now. There's no way. Like, I am a clutch strat, but it doesn't matter when he has... There was no way a plus one. I don't have lower melee defense. I've lowered in range, so... I should be able to live a plus one. And I need to, because I gotta get rid of this stupid thing. The only way I could probably... Okay, you know, he swapped back into Gastro, I assume. The Gastro comes back in, but I'm at full health. There is a speed drop. There's only one thing I can do, and I have to go in the Sherbot. Darn it, I have to go in the Sherbot. I have to go in the Sherbot now. And I'm going to have to play this right. I'm going to have to play that Sumo Beetle. That's the only way I'm ever going to properly use this thing to its full potential. Zap Plant. You know what? I hope I lose that, but it's okay. I want to predict that... Out of Order is still the best play. He just rested. I might have just took out the Gastro. Wow, that hits pretty hard. Okay, the Gastro's gone. That's good. That's good stuff right there. But the Sumo Beetle comes back in, and it's a free quick punch, and I'm dead. It's a free quick punch, and I'm dead, because I don't have Flush Plushy, and it is that thing. So we'll go into Tyrex with minus one. Why not? Nothing we can really do here. We can minus one it. Minus one it. Bulk up. Well, it's... Ah, oh, this sucks. I can go into Stratosaur here, actually. This might sound odd, but I think it's going to go for a counter stance or try to get rid of my Tyrex. Really? 
Did that really just happen? Did it just go for a quick punch? Oh no. Am I dead? I lived. Alright. Get out of here, you stupid sumo beetle. Alright, we got rid of the sumo beetle. We still haven't got to use the clutch plushie set, though. I think I might just bring it out first, and maybe we can just see how far it can go. His last one is Snag Goop, which Tyrex can be. Sherbot actually might be able to live a hit. Go for Jet Stream. Sherbot might be able to live a hit, actually. I'm dead from that. Darn. But I think Sherbot can live one. Ice Metal doesn't hit me. Yeah, I think this is one of the few matchups I can actually swap in on. Yeah, Mukglash should not one-shot. It doesn't. And out of order, we'll take out the... Clutch. Flushy. Snag Goop. Clutch. Flushy. Snag Goop. Clutch. Flushy. Of course. Of course it's a Clutch Flushy second. Now, I gotta not miss my attacks. I'm gonna miss five attacks with Steel Crusher, aren't I? Aren't I? Let's just get the win here, please. Just hit your first attack just so we can defend this. Buck Blast, Crit Poison. Got the poison, but not the crit. Okay, I actually hit my attack, and we win the first battle. Alright, battle number two. Please have a good matchup. Snagoop? Alright, I can definitely use it against a Snagoop. And the Protagon. Yes, the Protagon is something, so I can't hit it. I can't hit the Protagon. I can hit the Pyrolin a little, but I can't even really hit the Pyrolin. There is a Wrestling, but that thing can also be potentially Quick Pound. Ah, <laughs> uh, Quick Pounce. Of course, my good old friend Quick Pounce. I could definitely bring you for Pivot. And I gotta bring you for the Pyrolin, or otherwise the Pyrolin's gonna sweep us. Or, yeah, I could bring you and I can get a setup. I don't think this has any setup besides Snag Goop, and even then, I can electric. I can use the electric attack on it. I'll bring Strategy. Oh, I wanna bring you for the Pyrolin. Because that Pyrolin's gonna be devastating if I don't use it right. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I gotta use it over the Tyrant with the Protagon. Yeah. Ah, Protagon's more dangerous. I'll be fine against the Pyrolin, right? And that's where you lay off with. Lay off with that. Oh boy, I can tell this battle's gonna be really rough already. I can tell just right off the bat this first battle's gonna be very rough if I don't play this right. I could go into my Clutch Plushy Strat right off the start, though. Definitely something I could try. It's definitely something I can try out. But I gotta be careful because Fanning Flame. I gotta I gotta play the Pyrolin right. I gotta think, what move is the Pyrolin gonna do? I could technically just go into my thing now, but this thing is probably Fanning Flame. So it's actually neutral to Jet Stream and not weak to it. So I'd rather go into Stratosaur and you know, get the plus two, then hopefully the plus two again, and then hopefully plus four Jet Stream is enough to bring Pyrolin low. That's what we need to do here. So, yeah, I'm going for a zip sack. He is really thinking a long time on this decision. It's either you stay in and attack, or you stay in and set up. And there's no reason to swap out, unless you're a There's no reason to swap out on this. He swapped. Really? He really swapped? I did not think he was going to do that, but okay. It's a free Tyronic swap-in, then, so I'll take it. It's a free Tyronic swap-in. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. Free Tyronic swap-in. I'm not sure what Lumion I should get that boost on. I hope he goes into Protagon or Pyrolin, because if I can chip one of the two, I think it can do work. I need to chip them both. I actually do need to chip them both. Be the Protagon. Yes, it's the Protagon. I get to chip the Protagon. All right. That is massive, actually. Plus, it only gets a melee attack boost. I get to do a ton of damage. Oh, my God. The critical hit. The best possible time. That is the biggest threat. That is, indeed, the biggest threat for my Sherbot. So, if I can get the Pyrolin low enough, if I can get the Pyrolin low enough, Sherbot's looking very good to sweep here. 
Also, did he have, oh no, he had a wrestling as well. But wrestling cannot swap into a phantom. Snagoop can though. Snagoop can certainly can. And it's going to place a clutch plushie. And it's going to be bad. Actually, you know what? I have another idea. You're not going to go for a Muck Blast you're gonna, or a Jet Stream. You're going to go for a Poison Barbs. No. Well, that strat's thrown out the window now. Dang it, that strat's thrown out the window. We're going to go for an out of order then. So yeah, the Clutch Plushie strat did not work. Couldn't get to use it because there happened to be no Body Crash Illumians today. I might go for Jet Stream, although i got to be careful that Pyro win. I'll go for Jet Stream because I'm going to predict that Wrestling... Even better, Harvest. That's even better. Though I could have just one-banged it, but it's fine. I could have just one-banged it with Out of Order, but... We're fine. We outspeed the Harv, so... Goodbye to the Harvest set. That's a big KO for sure, Bot. I think the Boots one might be the better set, just because I can actually pivot out with Zip Zap. Which can actually hit those pesky metal types. There's the Wrestling. There's no reason to stay into this matchup, because we got Chironix. I think Tyronix can definitely win the rest of the way, honestly. Tyronix can win the rest of the way. Pep Jab's not going to do anything. And I'm going to go for a Magnify. Go for a Magnify here, because you're going to swap into Pyro Lin. Oh, okay, it's back into Snag Goop. Okay, it's back into Snag Goop again. I can definitely just one shot the Snag Goop, but again, I want to bring Sherbot in. This is the only Lumion I'm ever going to bring Sherbot into, so I might as well use it on this matchup. So yep, yeah, Sherbot comes back in. Hopefully he doesn't double. Goes for another Jetstream. Again, Jetstream is the best play. Jetstream is the best play to predict Wrestling or Pyrolin coming in. Yep, yeah, Wrestling or Pyrolin. One of the two. It's Pyrolin, which is going to get a plus one, I think. Unfortunately, I think we'll get a plus one. Yes, it does. Fanning Flame. It isn't Rageful Plushie, though, which is good. So, do we just hit it again? Give it a plus two. Plus two could be a big mistake, so I'm just going to go for an out of order. I'm just going to go for... Oh, it actually outsped me. Rip, it outsped me. I honestly didn't think that was going to outspeed me, but okay. We can go into the... We can go for the Stratosaur win now. We can go for the Stratosaur win. We'll go for a Magnify setup. Magnify setup because you're gonna go for Fire Breath, which I'll soak because I'm clutch. Unless you burn me, which that might honestly happen. Let's be honest. This is all. This is my RNG after all, so I'm probably gonna get burned. Let me guess. Let me just guess. Watch. 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yep. Oh, with me. No one else. No one else. Just me, that only happens to me. And guess who that screws up? Yes, of course. Only me. Only me. That only happens to me. I should have just went Tyronix, but I wanted to have fun. I wanted to actually have fun for once and not do anything stupid. But yeah, but yeah, boring Pyro then has to get a lucky burn on my Stratosaur. Of course it does. Of course it does. Not even shocked. Not even shocked. Of course he gets the burn. Watch this be a clutch plush. Oh, I have, I have, I have light speed ray, so that's fine. Okay, that is clutch plushy, so I can just uh, light speed ray it. Light speed ray. Yeah, let's just go for the Tronic sweep. Yeah, I would have had a sweep with Ceratosaur, but nope, nope. Gotta get nope. The burn happened. The burn needed to happen. Apparently, the burn just needed to happen. Ireland doesn't even get one shot at from this range, and he knows that because he's going back into it. But he is, he is back at neutral now. I'll go for a wait so I can get my energy back. Please put me back at 150. It does. He goes for a shrewd blast, which does literally nothing. Nova blast twice, and I think we win from here. Actually, that speeds me. Oh boy, that speeds me. Okay, it just took it out. We're good. We will get the win with Phantom, and in this next battle, I'm gonna showcase the. Specialty boots sure bot because I didn't get to use the clutch plushy one that effectively. So I'm gonna try to use the specialty boots one with zip zap. I think that one might actually be better because I don't have to rely on it living one hit. You could also use a frost shell on sure bot, but the problem is is that it's just not the best matchup. That's a forfeit. Let's head into battle number three. 
All right, battle number three, and this time I got the specialty boots one. This time I got the specialty boot, boot shirt bot. So I'm excited to use this. And this one has zip zap. So let's see if this one does any better. It's also a shakedown one. There is a Tyronix. I got to play this really right. Your soul, which I have this for. Don't have boots at Kazune anymore, though. So that ain't good. That really isn't good at all. I'll bring you, though. And I can minus the attack on that. And I'll bring you, even though you have a hunger. Hunter's gonna be a nightmare to beat. Not sure how I'm gonna beat that. But I'll lead off with the Sherbot. Sure because I can pivot. There is nothing that is immune to Zip Zap. Hunter doesn't outspeed me, which is funny. Hunter doesn't actually outspeed me. So I can actually stay in. So I can happily just stay in, although this could also be very nimble. There's no way this is a very nimble Hunter. There's no way. There's no way that this is. There's no way that this is a very nimble Hunter. It's going to be, though. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves here. This is a very nimble hunter. Let's be honest here. Can't take that risk. I can't take that risk. He's gonna go for the blaze taunt me. Yep, I called it. There's the blaze taunt. Soak it pretty well. Gonna go for the... I can't go for flash and flay, actually. I'll go for a... Frost Beam to predict the Colossatrops. Because I don't think the Hunter's going to stay in. Yeah, you went into Colossatrops, didn't you? Yep! Great predict on my part. I'm happy with that one. I'm really happy with that one. That was good. That one was really good. But it is vigorous. So oh, something dies. <laughs> the funniest part is something dies, and I can't lose anything, really. Don't want to lose Luminami, but is it worth keeping? For the Tyronix, maybe. For the Tyronix, maybe. To waste its energy? Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna get nuked, I think. I don't know what to do here. Heat Thrash kind of takes out everything. Like, I don't know what to lose here. I don't want to lose anything. It, it's a free Timber Thrash on everything. I could go into you, but then lose the Your Soul. I think I have to go for the Stratosaur play here. Don't want to do it, but I think I have to do it. That's the only play I think I can do. Doesn't one shot, surprisingly. But yeah, now I'm not good for that. Your now that your soul's problem. That your soul's now problem. Go for a Jet Stream. And yeah, the Clausotrops is dead. I still have Luminami. I still have Irex. I still have Tyronix, and I still have my other thing. There's the Hunter. This Hunter's gonna be very scary. And I don't think there's a reason to keep it. Yeah, I don't think there's a reason to keep it. I'm just gonna let it go. It does stink, but I think I am gonna have to let it go. He tried to predict Luminami again, it looked like. But I can now go into Tyrex, give it a minus one. I might even go for a Metallical Blast here, just so I can actually hit. Just so I can actually hit the... Tyronix, but I don't think there's a reason to. I think Earthquake is still the best play. I don't think he has an Airtight. He has a Luminami, though, so yeah, he does have a Luminami, which is good to know. And I can go into... I can go into Phantom. Stratosaur could have been good, but I think we're fine where we're at. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Luminami, and I can actually now Flash and Sleep Pivot into the Sherbot. Does go for Flash and Flee himself, though, which just suck. But Hunter? Even if Hunter comes in, I think I live a Hunter hit. I'm willing to do it in this situation of the game. That's not good, though. That's not good. Fage Knot's not good. Fage Knot's really not good. Well, alright. Alright. I think we're gonna be stuck in a stall fest. I hate to say it, I think we're gonna be stuck in a stall fest. Oh no. It's a ranged defensive one. Oh, yeah, they ain't good. Flash and Flay. Critical freaking hit! Stop! Can you stop with the crit? It's always the crits. It's always the crits. It kills me. It kills me. It kills me. That was the worst time for a critical hit on a Lumion where I needed to stay alive! And that's a free slapdown now! 
that is why I hate the crits. And that situation right there, that's where the crits hurt. That's where the crits hurt. That's where the crits hurt. There's Luminami, he just sits back in for free. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do now. Honestly, I'm gonna go for Magnify. I don't care anymore. It's gonna, it's gonna swap out. Flashing Flame. It's gonna give itself momentum, so I might as well just... Peace of mind. Peace of mind. On a, on a pivoting... Luminami. On a pivoting... Luminami. You run peace of mind. I think I'm going insane now. I think I am going insane. On a pivoting Luminami. That's what you run. And that's another critical hit, too. On a pivoting Luminami. Durbot comes on in, though. Get to see what item you have. Heavy armor. Gonna predict that your soul... Which one do I predict? Your soul or Phage Knot? I think Zip Zap's still the best play. Is it, though? Yeah, I think Zip Zap's still the best play. He saved it. Hunter. I'm perfectly okay with that. That was a clutch Zip Zap. Into Tyrex. Into Tyrex. You get a minus one. We're gonna go into Luminami. I have an idea what I could do. We'll go Luminami here. Because you're gonna go for a Blaze Chomp. Then I'm gonna click Flash and Flee this time. Yep, there's a Blaze Chomp. Now I'm gonna click Flash and Flee this time. No, he stayed in. I gotta go for Maroon. Okay, he swapped. Into his own Luminami, which that's okay. I know what I want it. Get to waste a little bit more of its energy, actually. Yeah, that's low. That's too low on energy to use a move, so. We get a free Sherbot swap in here. We get a free Sherbot swap. We get a free swap. It's a free swap. A free swap. In. This is my ticket to victory. I gotta play Sherbot correctly, though. Sherbot is my way to victory. I still think Zip Zap's the best play, because if Hunter comes back in, no other move can hit Hunter. So I think Zip Zap is the best play still. It actually stayed in. I think he just lost Luminami, which that is actually pretty huge. The fact that he lost Luminami on that is massive. I'm gonna go... Luminami. They do not is scary. But I still think this is the best play. Your soul comes on in. Go for another flash and flay. I gotta live the slap down though. And I lived it pretty decently. I actually lived the slap down pretty decently. Which that's good. I actually lived that alright. Free damage. Didn't quite take it out though. Didn't quite take it out. But this isn't terrible. That Phage Knot, though, is looking very rough, because I haven't even damaged the Phage Knot yet. But it is a minus one now, so... It is minus one. It does usually run very sluggish, but... Yeah, I have no speed investment, though. I think this Yursul would outspeed me. I think in this situation, the Yursul outspeeds me, which kind of stinks. But I think the best play is to click... Earthquake. I don't know what to do here. This is a tough position. Sure, bot. I could also go back Luminami, but I could also get slapped down again. I'm going back Luminami. This is so risky, but I'm doing it. Let's do it. This is so risky, but I'm doing it. F jab. Doesn't do that much. And I get a free Flash and Flay. A free flash and flay. He has to swap out. Into Phage Knot. Phage Knot gets injured. And with the Phage Knot getting injured, that means it's a free attack for my Sherbot. Sherbot gets a free attack here, no matter what. 
If I can get rid of this phage, I can be very good for late game. Again, though, I'm gonna have to play this right. Out of order. I definitely outspeed this because it's boots, and he didn't know that. His phage knot is indeed dead. I have enough for a zip. I only have enough for one more attack, though. Goes into the Ursul for a quick punch. I assume it will be quick punch. I assume it will be quick punch, but he could also predict that jab. Let's see what you do here. His Ursul's about to be out of energy, though. Yeah, quick punch. That was kind of obvious. Still did a ton of damage, though. Like, my goodness, that still did a ton of damage. Go for the Luminami play again. If you're about to run out of energy on your Ursul, so I'm going to try to use that to my advantage. Since you're almost out of energy. Slapdown, that's a good predict. But I'm still not dead. I can actually go for a rest here, actually. I'm going to go for a rest. Sit down and rest. Bang. We rest together. Blash and Flay is free. Just don't crit on Slap. It didn't crit. Thank gosh. Thank gosh it didn't crit on Slapdown. And I can actually go back into my... Sure. I'm going to go back into Tyrex here, actually. Because if I go back into Tyrex, I can actually get a Health Amulet tick back. And I think that's more important at this point of the game. Even with the Hunter, I think this is the most important moment. There's the Hunter. It's basically Luminami again. Although, he's almost out of energy. He's almost out of energy, so I might as well go into this. Tyrex can win the game. So, we can try to win with the Tyrex here. Play Chomp. Got him again. All right. It's perfectly fine for me. I'll go for another Blash and Flea here. Sets its guard down the rest. And let's see. And let's see if Sherbot can get the KO here. If not, we should still be okay. So we're going to go into the Sherbot here. And I think Sherbot can get the win from here. We get to know what your item is, which is Power Cuffs. And the... I could also go for Zip Zap. But I'm going to be out of energy. I'm going to go for an out of order. I hope it's enough. Just KO it. It does. In the Sherbot comes in for the KO. And that will be the only battle with the Boots Sherbot. And I honestly think the Boots Sherbot is a ton better than the Clutch Plushie. But if you can decide which one's to run, I personally recommend the Boots one because you have Zip Zap. And you can also get Stratosaur pretty hard, which is nice. But yeah. You can choose. There's a bunch of different sets that you can run on Sherpa. And I think this new Lumion is honestly pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Sherbot, And I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!